If you're looking for cheap, fast and reliable coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code DJ99 for 5% off. What's up YouTube, Danny and welcome to another episode of my Karuma series and today we have episode number 10 and you know something different, I'm doing a post commentary episode for today's episode and then we'll kind of set us up nicely for the last couple of episodes uh, before the end of the season. So we're going into our first game of today's episode against Arsenal and we've also got some mid-table teams like Southampton, Sunderland and that kind of thing. So if you do guys want to see another episode later on today, uh, can we get to maybe 200 likes again? That would be absolutely incredible. And thanks for supporting the transfer window as well. The first episode of the transfer window, part one of the transfer window, uh, got over 300 likes, maybe 400 by now. So a massive thank you for that. So as I said, we're going into our first game of today's episode against Arsenal. And you saw that the war square goal that was for me that you see in us. Uh, past the Hesse Rodriguez, our new signing, and I just thought I'd give him his first goal, but unlucky, he does actually miss the target uh, somehow, but you see Suarez another chance there, again missing the target by some distance, so a good start to this game, we're beating Arsenal so far, and Arsenal are always a tough team to beat, so it's good uh, to go one and up, so from the corner kick here, you can see a nice ball into the box there, uh, but Vermana does actually get to it, so going into the second half, look at this pass here from Suarez, just look at that, look at that pass, and that just sets up Hester Rodriguez once again, and he misses the target again. That's just such a bad debut so far, uh, but we're going to see if he can score. So you see I gave him captain's armband. Uh, for me, guys, I just don't really care about who's captain. It's really, I don't really mind, it doesn't really make too much difference on FIFA for me. And see that Arsenal coming close again uh, from another chance there from Lucas Podolski. Uh, but again, this just feels so different to how I normally do my career mode episodes. I normally do a lot of uh, live commentary, face cam, that kind of thing. But I thought for today's episode, I would do something a bit different and try and uh, get back some of, at least how I used to make videos, just uh, go and record some career mode and then go and just comment over the game plan. It's, it's kind of a bit easier, uh, but still I want to actually uh, kind of improve on these kind of videos as well. So again, another chance here. And it's walk-off throw and goal. It's a fantastic save uh, there from Minion Lane. That's the end of the game. So Arsenal do actually score a late goal there. Uh, to make it 1-1 in the end of the game. So, not too bad, but still, I thought I did actually deserve uh, to win that game. So, going into our second game today's episode now, and it's going to be against Swansea City. So, again, another team that I always find tough to play against. So, I was kind of looking forward to this game, kind of going to prove how good my team is. And here is the league table. So, we are currently in third position, actually two points behind Arsenal. So, if we won that last game, we would have gone above Arsenal in the league. So, that's kind of another thing. I would have gone into second position, which is absolutely incredible uh, for how small my team is. So, another chance here, Sterling, it with the first chance of the game, then the third minute. And we had such a fantastic start to this game. Again, Sturridge on the ball, uh, going for the shot. It's a great save. Uh, from the goalie, I do believe this, I don't know who it is, but it's a well-known goalie, uh, definitely not David Vaughan, I think, or Michelle Vaughan, sorry, and another chance here in the uh, 90th minute, it's a great chance, and Suarez does actually make it 1-0 after 90 minutes, fantastic goal, and we're now 1-0 up against Swansea, I know that's sweaty, but what do you do in that si this situation, I knew Suarez, or Sturridge, sorry, uh, was on his weaker, uh, weaker foot, uh, so I decided to just go with it with Suarez, and actually ended up as a goal as well, so it's probably the right decision, but look at this, Look who scored the goal there for Swansea. It's actually Shelby of all people. Shelby scores against me. I just couldn't believe it. And my defence is all over the place. Because I know that I've got a good defence. Uh, but the odd mistake really does cost us. And that was Swansea's first chance of the first half as well. So that's another thing. I created so many chances. Yes, yeah, Swansea scored the first goal for them. There you can see it's a great goal in the end as well. Minio had no chance. That's a great pass through the middle there. I think it's from Dyer. Uh, to make it 1 1. So going into the second half now, and the first chance here for Daniel Sturridge. He goes past the defenders. It's a fantastic shot, but it's off the post again. So close to making it 2 1 there. And again, look at Swansea again, just getting so many chances. I could not clear the ball. De Guzman on the ball. He goes past the defenders. It's a great shot, and it goes into the back of the net. 2 1 now to Swansea. And we've gone from losing or winning this game and absolutely dominating, actually losing this game thanks to a great goal from De Guzman and another fantastic goal from John Joe Shelby as well. So again, look at the, the, uh, the Terrible play there from Swansea, nearly leading to another goal. And I don't know how that's a penalty. Leave a comment. Do you think that's a penalty? And for me, probably yes, because he did actually bundle him over in the end. So uh, for me, I think that was a penalty for me. So uh, Suarez is going to take the penalty. Obviously, really reliable. And you, if you missed the last episode, he did actually nearly leave the club. And I just, I just didn't really, didn't really know what to do because obviously he's a massive part of my team. But still, I can make like a whole team with the money I got from him, uh, which by the way was 95 million. 90. Five million pounds for Luis Suarez, which is absolutely incredible, and I think that's what he'll go for in real life for Real Madrid. Uh, but on FIFA, that is absolutely ridiculous money. So uh, it would have been great money to get into my team because I could build like a whole new team, uh, get a new defence, a new midfield, and even a new striker as well, who's probably quite similar uh, to Luis Suarez as well. So I don't know what I was going to do in the end, but in the end, 
uh, Suarez with the negotiations they actually break down. But look at this again, Suarez in the last minute making the 3-2 and we win the game. Luis Suarez in the last minute and that's a fantastic goal. When I did that really I was like, I'm going to be throwing a goal here, I could win the game. And look at that, Luis Suarez getting the goal to make it 3-2 and we're on our way to a massive win against Swansea City uh, which will hopefully bring us back to second in the league as well. So Luis Suarez is a match winner. He is an absolutely fantastic game, but he's so inconsistent still, which is something I find really a problem with him. So uh, we're going to go into our next game today's episode, and it's going to be against Southampton. So again, a hard team to beat. I know that Southampton have a lot of good players. El Alani, got Luke Shaw, uh, Rodriguez and Lambert as well, and a great team. So I really do respect uh, Southampton play great football in real life as well. So first chance here. That's a fantastic ball at the top there. I think it's from Joe Allen. And Daniel Sturridge puts it into the back of the net, and we're now 1 0 up. So, a fantastic start. Uh, but the thing is, can we keep hold of this league? Because in the last game, uh, we were leading the game against Swansea, and we were leading the game against Arsenal as well. So, can we hold this lead until the end of the game? You're going to find out. And look at this Daniel Sturridge. Is he going to miss? He's just so reliable in front of goal. And again, look at this big chance here. It's going to be a nice ball at the top there for Mass Pass into pass to Daniel Sturridge. It's a great chance, but a great save again from the goalkeeper to keep it at 1-0. So by the way guys, if you enjoyed the episode, remember to smash the like button and as I said earlier in the episode, if we can get over 200 likes, that would be absolutely insane for more of this series. And also I've got some more series planned as well, uh, probably something like the top 10 best players to buy on career mode uh, for each position and that kind of thing. Tell me what you guys want to see, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. But look, look at this, Southampton make it 2-1 in the 35th minute. It's just another chance that if Sacco was playing, uh, by the way guys, he's injured. I would have headed that way because I know Sacco is an absolute monster in the air. But look at this again. It's a great ball at the top there. I think it's some Aspas again. Uh, creating a lot of chances in this first half. Doing a similar job to what Suarez does. And Hesse Rodriguez doesn't really have the confidence to actually shoot there. And Aspas, what is he doing in that first touch onto his weak first wall, which is really uh, kind of ruining that goal there. That would have definitely been a goal uh, for Aspas. But if that had been Suarez, that would have definitely uh, been in the top of the corner or the top uh, right corner. But look at that goal there from Southampton, making it 3-1. Again, this game was so equal. But in the last couple of minutes, and obviously in the, the uh, two goals that Southampton scored, they just absolutely dominated. It looks like they absolutely dominated this game. And in truth, I really did not think I deserved uh, to win that game. But 3-1 seems a bit harsh. I thought it deserved maybe a 2-2 or a 2-1 maybe for Southampton, but not really a win after I was playing quite a weak team. Players at Aspas, uh, Joe Allen playing uh, during that game. So we're going to go into our next game of today's episode now, and I really do need a win from this game because obviously I've had uh, two draws. I've had a win as well. And actually, no, I've won a game, I've lost a game, and I've drawn a game as well. Uh, so far in today's episode. So I want to win this last game of today's episode against Sunderland. Obviously on FIFA, not a great team. We've got Steven Fletcher, who I absolutely hate playing, uh, but still I think I can actually beat them in this game. So there is a league table, and we are currently in fourth position. We're actually one point behind uh, Tottenham there in third position. So we're going to go into this game and try and win it as well. So the first chance, uh, Fulster's Daniel Sturridge. He's without his partner again, Luis Suarez, and he makes it 1-0. But I think the Aspas did actually go off injured in this first half, so that's why you see Suarez there. And look at the link-up play there from SAS. Sturridge is absolutely fantastic, and he makes it 1-0. So great start to this game. Can we capitalise and make another goal here? It's a great ball at the top there. I think from Jordan Henderson into the pass to Luis Suarez. And you know what comes next? Luis Suarez obviously scores a goal to make it 2-0. Another great goal uh, from probably our best player at the moment so far uh, this season, but still he's so inconsistent. Sometimes he plays absolutely fantastic. And for example, against Chelsea, he played absolutely terrible. So I uh, don't really know what to do with Suarez. Maybe I should sell him at the end of the season. Uh, leave comments in the comment section below. So at this point, we are not tuning up. So I think uh, in this point, I was actually thinking, I'm going to win this game. Uh, so I, I started to go more attacking. And I was using a formation. I think it was a 3-1-4-2 uh, formation. Uh, something different as well. But that's actually going to be the last game of today's episode. And if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, remember to smash the like button. Uh, if we can have 200 likes once again. That would be absolutely incredible. So your support, especially yesterday, was absolutely incredible. So massive thank you for that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode. <laughs>